Hello, my name is Remy Sharp, and this is a quick overview of some of the updates that I have made to uh, zx.remysharp.com, uh, particularly in the graphics kind of sprite uh, tooling. So it's been mostly around um, the import and the ability to export, particularly to other formats. Um, so what I want to show you here is um, I'm in the import tool at the moment. Um, and the few new bits are kind of the auto repeat um, and also the palette. Um, uh, but also I can import as 8-bit or 4-bit. Now visually it doesn't make any difference, but the actual output of the file is completely different. Um, so in this case, I've got this kind of explosion effect. Um, it's come from a PNG, an 8-bit PNG. The magenta should automatically be mapped to uh, transparency. If you drop a PNG in there, then um, it supports alpha transparency and it should just work. Um, now my palette is over here. I'm just going to do um, plus palette and uh, it's kind of a bit confusing, but okay means just look at all the pixels and uh, work out the palette. Um, so I've actually got a palette of uh, very little here. Um, and I want to import the sprite, which is the sprite sheet, which is five by one um, and click on copy in and uh, yeah, there you go. Um, so it's in, no problem, all done. Uh, worked first time, which is great. Um, I just want to show you what that looks like for uh, an 8-bit sprite. Let's just reset this palette. Uh, we also have kind of a, the ULA1, uh, not ULA1, layer 1 uh, palette preset as well if you want to play with that. Um, so I've got the 8-bit checked here, same kind of rules over here. I'm going to click on palette first. It'll ask me what row I want the colors to go into. I'm going to choose uh, row 0. So what that looks like here is just that first row has that palette. Um, and I'm just going to copy in again, so 8 by 8 uh, and it worked. Um, and you can see down here, these kind of tiny little buttons, because we're on this 4-bit mode, allows me to preview what the uh, sprites might look like if I change the, um, the palette. Um, speaking of the palette, I can actually go in and uh, manually edit this as well, uh, kind of en masse. So down here, I've got this uh, manual edit, this first row of 16 represents this first row up here. Um, I'm just going to copy and paste that over the second row, um, like this. And I'm just going to tweak some of these numbers. So uh, instead of 150, I'm going to have 140, uh, D, C, and then uh, there we go. So just very subtle changes. Um, and you can see the palette is updated here. Uh, if I go to Sprite Editor and look at the, I don't know, this explosion, click on number two, you can see have a preview of what that would look like. Um, the uh, one extra bit over here is a kind of an animation preview. It's kind of a naive tool. Um, it doesn't it doesn't give you anything. It doesn't give you a GIF or anything like that. Um, you can set the patterns you want to loop through. Uh, you can change background color just to kind of get an idea of what it looks like. Um, you can bounce the animation. Um, and you can also uh, do a composite of sprites as well. So if you had an explosion was two by two, then you could kind of increase this to uh, two by two. Um, and uh, I mean, it's not doing anything here because it just doesn't have enough sprites to, to do animation, but it would uh, it would make it work. So um, that is uh, those tools. And really the kind of the next big part is the uh, export. So the export is um, a wall of inputs. Uh, but you have a few choices of the uh, export type. So you can choose uh, assembly or basic and you just can copy and paste out there. You can adjust the kind of output to your liking. So if you prefer kind of a bit more uh, structure to your, you know, uh, your output, then you can do. Um, and you've got a few kind of debris here. Um, we can select what we're actually exporting. So at the moment I'm exporting these four sprites and uh, the palette from 0 to 15, but maybe I actually want to have um, 0 to 31, so that'll give me a second row. Um, and let's do this as rows of 16, so it's a bit easier to see. So I can see kind of the first palette row is here, second palette row is there. Um, I can copy this on my clipboard, so now it's on my clipboard, I can download the source. Um, and I can also export this entire sprite sheet as a uh, bitmap. It'll just give me the range that I've selected. Uh, or uh, this is an 8-bit bitmap uh, or a PNG. Um, and I can also export out to a couple of other formats. So Piscale is a online uh, sprite editor um, and that will export your sprite sheet into a compatible format with that. And uh, this is 
your palette as a GIMP file, a GIMP palette file that if you want to kind of drop it into something like Aspirate, then you can edit it from there. So that is um, a very fast overview of everything that's there. Have a play. Um, certainly with the import, remember to uh, import your palette first and then your images rather than the other way around. Otherwise, it'll get pretty messy. Uh, if you get stuck at all or you uh, have a bug or whatever, um, click on the help link. There's a link to the GitHub issues, um, questions, feature requests, bugs. Uh, the more information, the better. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, hope you enjoy.